meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, lots of unsettled weather recently, but from time to time we're getting little bouts of clearing going on. And earlier tonight, a beautiful picture captured by Emily Jane Bale out of Brooks, Kentucky, of the full moon that was trying to shine brightly, doing a hard, having a hard time doing so, I should say, because of all the smoke that has filtered in from some fires way up in the Pacific Northwest. So again, Emily, thanks very much for the pictures. Uh, unfortunately, the clouds are now filling in because the rain showers are returning, and we have the flash flood warnings that are in effect off to the west of Louisville, uh, Crawford County, southwestern Orange County, through to Boys County. That warning goes until 3 a.m. As a matter of fact, State Road 164 and 145 near the Wycliffe area reported to be underwater right now and shut down. And Main reason why is all that heavy rainfall that just continues to pound those locations that are saturated. This rain is moving off towards the east, southeast, Corridon to English to Potoka Lake to Jasper. Just getting hammered by this stuff right now. It's moving off towards the east, southeast. Additional showers forming closer to E Town, Bardstown, down to near Springfield as well. So it's going to be a stormy night once again. The good news, if there is any to report. We're not expecting severe weather as far as high winds is concerned or tornadoes or large hail, but that has been occurring off to the west of us throughout this night and earlier today, especially on the southeastern side of Kansas City, boy, it got rough in a hurry. Let me take you there. Let me show you some pictures out of Jackson County in Missouri. This is a huge tornado that formed very, very quickly on the southeastern side of the metro. This thing touched down and it caused some damage as well. Uh, power transformers were blowing up all over the place. You can see some of the debris that was being hurled into the atmosphere from this thing. From what I've heard, I haven't heard of any reports of injuries or fatalities, but it was traveling through a major metropolitan area on the southeast side of KC. All right, back on the maps now. Let's talk about what we are expecting overnight tonight. No doubt occasional showers and storms in our forecast. It's going to be a wet morning commute the way it looks right now, so allow some extra time to get to your destinations. Otherwise, those temperatures will fall back into the 60s overnight. 68 will greet you in the morning. Have the umbrellas ready to go, and we're only going to climb into the 70s tomorrow. We should be in the upper 80s to near 90 on the second day of July, but the main reason why? More clouds, more occasional showers, and even a few rumbles of thunder. The good news, it looks like a lot of this deeper moisture will finally get a kick off to the south of us for Friday and the holiday weekend. 72 to 75 is the range right now. Humidity 79%. The winds are calm. Here's your forecast. 68 overnight occasional showers and storms. Some of those producing some locally heavy rainfall. Showers are likely bright and early in the morning, same midday. Then they'll become more widely scattered, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder mixing in later in the afternoon. We'll top out at 78. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, that deeper moisture gets a kick to the south. Still a stray storm chance Friday through Monday of next week. But a lot of dry time is expected for that holiday weekend on the 4th of July, 84 degrees. And again, here's to plan out your holiday. Vicki, Rick, it looks pretty good for outdoor activities. You might have a storm that brings you inside for 30 minutes or something like that. Aside from that, the 4th of July holiday is looking better and better and better as we get closer. Hmm. That sounds better and better and oh, better as we get closer. I know. We need to get rid of this water. <laughs> Shut off the spigots. Yeah.